um, I'm back and I'm just going to show y'all this quick little simple beat that I did. Um, I would say it's an everyday look, but besides making my eyebrows dark enough to match my wig, it pretty much is. So first I'm going to take the e.l.f. Poreless Primer. I have more primers, I y'all, I really do, but this was just what I wanted to use. For these first couple of ones, I have like eight different primers. Sometimes I don't use primer, but lately um, for my skin aspect, I have been using it. Somebody started texting me, of course, because nobody wants to talk to me until I'm mad busy. Anyway, so um, next, I'm going to do my brows. Oh, I'm going to set this primer first. I'm going to take my Fit, Fit Me in Medium Dark. I looked it up, and uh, I almost spilled it all over the place. But I'm just going to set my primer, I'm pretty sure, and do my brows and everything. Girl, hurry up. Anyways, um, I'm going to do my brows with the, you already know, Anastasia Beverly Hills and the dip brow in the shade Ebony. That's what I'm going to be using. Oh, I'm yelling at my son because this is what happened when y'all want me to film constantly and I'm a stay-at-home mom with two kids. So if I turn to the side a lot and I'm yelling at them or asking them to do stuff. Also, I'm playing music too. So this is the only reason this video is almost 20 minutes because I was taking my time, y'all. This is sped up. This is sped up. I promise you. But if y'all want to see me install this wig I have on, that's another video. Y'all can go ahead and check that out. But I'm just doing the makeup for it for, like, the end of that video. Plus, I need, I had to go somewhere to go, so I need to get my makeup done for this also. My kids wanted to come in here so bad when I was filming. They're like, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? That's why I don't talk during my videos okay if y'all give me a video of me talking it's gonna be rare I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold y'all it's gonna be rare okay it's not because I don't want to I think actually it'd be better because doing a voiceover on top of my editing is very tedious but I'm, I got y'all I'm gonna try I know a lot of people rather just Hear me talk during, but here I am setting my whole face, my brows too, because I don't want to sweat them off. I really should just do this in my um, oily areas, but I do it all over because it's also hot outside and I sweat. So I'm going to take the Revlon, um, I think it's called Super Stay, and I'm going to take my Morphe setting spray. I'm going to set that. First, before doing my foundation, and I'm gonna mix my powder with my foundation, my setting powder with my foundation that I am doing that because it just gives it a smoother look. And I know it's gonna be dark, but I know y'all see my neck and chest. Well, not my chest right now, but it's it's gonna mesh together. Plus, I just put on like not a white base, but like kind of yellow. And please, if you think I have gold undertones, I do not. I have green. I'm more olive undertone. But I don't buy my makeup that way. I like how a golden undertone looks on me. So that's what I do. I usually use um a brush first and then go in with a beauty blender. When I do a beauty blender, it just seems like it takes even longer. It just feels like it takes so long and it's absorbing so much of the foundation, which it kind of does. So first I always go in with um, a foundation flat brush and then I'll go in and do my beauty blender. But I had to keep fixing these brows. I don't know how many times. They were giving very much boxy. But it was okay because... I I I kind of liked it in the end. That's what you see me looking at them. I'm just like, hmm. 
And y'all, I'm trying to work on how blurry it is. It is like trying to autofocus, but I keep bringing in so many things and objects. It's like, girl, what are you doing? Plus the lighting. I'm working on it, okay? I just showed y'all the got to be glued spray because I almost grabbed it instead of my setting spray. I would have been I would have been tight. I'm not gonna lie to you. I would have been upset. So this is a pro highlight and contour palette. Don't know who it's from. Don't know where I got it, but it, it's pretty lit. I use it for contour. Usually because it's not too dark, not too cool tone. And you see I have hyperpigmentation like literally when I where I post a contour my face, so that's where I put it. And I have no idea what I'm listening to, but guaranteed it's either it's probably Ariana Grande or it's probably Wild Side by Normandy. I've been having some songs on repeat just for my mood. But um, this is the Too Faced Concealer and it's in the shade Maple. I, I have to sing this one part. Yeah, it was Ariana Grande. I can get it to you. But before I start doing my eyebrows, um, here I am just cleaning up the bottom. But um, I like to, also this is a lot of reason I do a voiceover too, because I like to listen to music when I do my makeup, because for some reason it comes out way better than when I am have to try to talk, explain everything I'm doing. I feel like a crazy person when I'm in the moment if I can't listen to music. I don't know. Before it wasn't a problem, but now, like, my kids literally will stand there just looking at me like, girl, who are you talking to? Or they'll try to answer, and be like, or they'll come out the back room, and they're like, what did you say? What did you say? Did you call me? So, yeah, um, plus this music keeps them calm in the back, so they're not screaming and yelling and trying to get to me. So, yeah, a few voiceovers for a while. But I let that dry down some, and I sprayed my setting spray um, onto my Beauty Blender, and I'm just blending that in. And when I tell you I like to put on concealer just to hide things, but not to really highlight areas, that's what I do. Because I don't use a lot. It brightens up the under eye. I feel like it makes me look a little younger. I mean, I'm not that old anyway, but... It's still cute or whatever. And I forgot to do everywhere else. I could have just, I could have saved myself some time. That is where I made a big mistake. Now, I used to do this, where I just put that highlight under that contour. I used to do that a long time ago. And I stopped because there was literally no need to do it. Um, me personally, I feel like I have no cheekbones. I don't feel like they're like predominant. And which I don't care. I'm setting my eyelids just so they don't get oily. But... I shouldn't have done that because I'm so focused on everything else. I'm going to forget that I need to extra blend it out. <sighs> Y'all, I like I'm just watching myself and I'm just like, girl, blend it. Girl, quit letting it dry down. Blend it right now. Blend it right now. But no. Now I am going to use this for my brows so they stay still. Um uh, I didn't I don't always do this. I usually rarely do this. Um but I needed uh, something and I didn't feel like looking for my brow gel. So I'm just going to blend everything else down. Um, and make sure everything's nice and even. I want it highlighted. But nothing crazy. Sometimes I will do this part with um, a brush instead of a beauty blender, except for my nose and um, my, well, pretty much just my nose, honestly. I'll take a brush to contour, but when I'm blending down my highlight, I'll just use a beauty blender. But I'm just putting some powder and lightly setting it. I'm going to just take these, um, that dark brown, and do... My contour that I naturally have. I was putting way more than I guess it looks like. Plus I'm going to put on bronzer too. And I'm going to take a lighter brown mixed with that darker brown and uh, do my nose. I don't... 
I don't want to say I don't try to change it, my nose shape, but I like my nose. I'm not trying to like snatch it, so I don't ever use the cream. I don't use the cream um, contour, and I just pop a little brown on my lips. I just use the powder. I'd be like, that's fine. It, that's it's just fine. Plus, um, my face gets oily anyway, so yeah. I'm just using Wet n Wild um, blush. I don't know what color this is in. I think it's red wine or something. I thought I put too much, but ain't never too much blush, honey. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, I did, but <laughs> I'm going to take my bronzer and go over it a little bit. Uh, this is from Fenty. This is Naughty Cocoa. I'm just going to set everything with my Morphe setting mist that dry down. Oh, um, I don't remember if I said, but uh, if you want to see where I got my hoodie from, it's slumavclothing.com. Check them out. I like their uh, merch. is pretty dope. So I like the hoodie. I've had it forever. And I know you like, girl, y'all in Texas, you got a hoodie on, but the air stay on and I'm cold, okay? But once I turn it up some so it's not so cold, I'm burning up, so yeah. I didn't want to be sweating putting on this makeup. So I'm going to take a brown eyeliner. Yes, I said eyeliner, not lip liner. Um, a nice creamy brown liner. I got it from like the dollar store. Right. And I'm just going to do my lips. I have a love and hate relationship when doing my lips. That was not open. I have one open though. But I'm gonna take a lighter pink first. That mistake. I knew I knew to just do how I usually do. But look how pink it is. Like my lips are already pink and like I'm just like, girl, what? Oh my god, that's too much. So I just take a um deeper pink, like a plum almost, and just fix that. Fix my line up. I didn't really need to redo the top, but I have, like, no definition in my top lips. Like, I don't have a keep it or nothing like that. Um, but, yeah, and I'm going to do my eyeliner. Also, I just blended it out a little bit so it wasn't so harsh. I did not want to do my eyes. I just didn't want to do anything to it, but I don't have any lashes. <laughs> And I feel like you can really tell I don't have lashes when I have makeup on. Like, I don't have any. They're like baby lashes. But this is my um, Makeup Revolution uh, liner. It's not liquid. Like a liquid liner, like, which I really appreciate. It's more like a pen. Like a salt felt pen. And this makes me doing my liners so much better. I'm not getting it everywhere. It's not transferring when I'm like, well, I don't mean it like that. Like, if I'm blinking, I don't have to worry about it getting anywhere. Instead of like when you just do liquid. Can I do liquid? Yes. I have, have I done it in a long time? No. And plus, I need a really, really, like, thin brush to do it with. Because I take small little yeah like little by little and I didn't want to go all the way to my inner eye doing this but I'm gonna end up doing it cuz it was all over the place like they weren't matching and it was driving me crazy and I just kept going in more in more in more and I was like you know what and I would have fixed this with just concealer but since I already did my powders like I've done my blush bronzer everything and I've done it before when I was like, let me just put a little concealer under here. And it forever looks crazy. So if you have a hard time doing this, I would suggest you do your eyes first. If you're doing eye makeup, do your eye makeup first. Like me, I was just putting on liner and lashes. So I didn't think it was that big of a deal, which it wasn't. It wasn't nothing like crazy I had to fix or whatever. I just ended up fixing it as I went and I didn't have to take any concealer. But if you feel like you need to clean up something and you've already done like how I did, I pretty much finished with my face 
and this is all I'm doing. I put on my lashes and stuff last. So if you're like that, I would suggest doing your eyes first. And trust and believe, I always do my eyebrows first. A lot of people do their eyebrows, um, eyebrows last. I think that's crazy. But I do my eyebrows, eye makeup, eyeliner. And then I still put on my lashes completely last. I will not put on lashes before I do my face. It's it's weird. Lashes just feels like the last step. But everybody's different. But yeah, like, I'm just going in little by little. Best thing to do when you do liner, patience. This, you see I'm still fixing it. And I've been doing makeup, my makeup at least for a long time. Some days I can really just whip it on there and it's perfect. And other days I'm just like, girl, have you never put on eyeliner before? What's going on? You don't see me shaking my head. I just gave up. I was like, here's my mascara. Maybelline Lash, you know, something extreme something like that still don't have any eyelashes afterwards i don't like for them to be clumpy either so i mean if you want to suggest something that's fine but i just want them long not thick just long okay please help me change my mascara i haven't i've been buying the same mascara even though i complain about my eyelashes so much for the longest um, I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna do, um, enhance this, uh, beauty mark I have on my face. I do. It's just a mole. But, you know, I'm pretty much done. I'm gonna do my lashes off camera because I, I'm gonna try stacking them for the first time. But yeah, there's my face. And boom, there she is. I was just fixing my lashes. Don't be alarmed. <laughs> Trying to fix them. But yes, babes, there she is. Yep, there she is. Let me just fix this wig a little bit. Fix my shirt. My shirt is from Shein. I think it was like $8. But yeah, um, like I said, it was just a cute little natural look. Nothing too big. Um, you can see all my tones match. I told y'all that foundation would work out. But yeah, I really hope y'all enjoyed this. I, my hair was much longer than I thought it was, um, but yeah, there she is, uh, like, subscribe, and share, and I will talk to y'all later, bye, love you.